Resident Evil is celebrating the big 2-5 this year, so it makes perfect sense to take a look back at some of the best villains from the series and their wildest transformations. Is it too early to put Lady Dimitrescu on the list? Hmm, maybe, but just know she's definitely here in spirit. We're going to continue celebrating the Resident Evil anniversary with another video reminiscing on all of its gruesome history, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. At this point, Resident Evil and Albert Wesker go hand in hand as he was not only one of the first main villains of the story, but had lived on throughout the series in numerous titles. Wesker was on a mission to become a god of a new world, except he wanted to create that world from the ashes of our own. He often worked in the shadows, but when he did show up, he carried a calm and collected nature that we learned to be more like the calm before a storm. His transformation in Resident Evil 5 also showed us how powerful he really was since he was still in full control of himself after infecting himself with Ouroboros. He mutated and fused with the metal around him to create massive, deadly arms to combine with his strength. However, the lava boss pulls a fast one on Wesker to give Chris and Sheva a chance to finish the fight. Although, if you ask me, he totally dodged those rockets. In Resident Evil 7, it's pretty easy to say that the whole Baker family was definitely a problem, but the true terror was Evelyn. She was an escape test subject who had the means of infecting others and controlling their minds. We see her as a young girl for most of the story and deep down she's just looking for a family to love. However, since she was genetically engineered and raised in captivity, she was pretty unstable and was creating her family by force, as we saw from the Bakers. Eventually, Ethan is able to stop Evelyn's mind control, and we see her old and withered form horrifically melt away before she completely consumes the house. Being stuck in that room with her face is forever burned into my memory. Soon, the house is too small and Evelyn bursts out and turns into a massive mold monster that requires a very special gun to take down once and for all. Osman Sadler's success with controlling Las Plagas spelled nothing but disaster for the world, as the parasite was genetically modified and then turned into a bioweapon. Not to mention Sadler's success in also creating a cult, other horrifying monsters, and basically all of the perfect pieces for a skin-crawling transformation. Seeing that eye come out of his mouth at the start of the transformation will haunt me forever. The massive spider-like creature dangles the human form of Sadler around while his head whips and flails off of his snake neck. Seriously, nightmare fuel. Ada was able to toss us an RPG to squash this bug. Alexia Ashford created and wielded the T. Veronica virus and used it to unleash three transformations on us. Even her very first form sent Wesker running and leaving Chris to do the dirty work. Alexia's transcendence down the stairs engulfed in flames to reach her first form is pretty epic. Her second form bursts from her first with long spiky arms piercing from her body her face and eyes becoming stretched and distorted, and large root-like tentacles swinging away at you. And finally, her third form lets her rise from the roots of rot she was sitting on, and you have to fight her in bug form. Which is nothing a good old linear launcher can't handle. William Birkin was one of the lead scientists behind the GNT viruses, and had eventually turned against Umbrella after he found out they had no plans on advancing him through the organization. In his last ditch effort, William injects himself with the last remaining samples of the G virus and sends us through five increasingly disgusting transformations. His first transformation is just a portion of his upper body and you can tell he still has a slight grasp on himself for a short time. As he loses control, we get to his next transformation where he sprouts a brand new mutant head while slicing through a T00 like butter. By phase three, all that's left is a mere imprint of William's face and we're left with a massive four-armed creature covered in eyes, teeth, and claws. And somehow, it gets worse. William continues to mutate with a creepy, jawless skull protruding out of his heap of eyes and teeth, 
as he even starts to crawl and climb. By the final phase, the mutation was out of control, with William being nothing but a mass of bones consuming an entire train car that eventually goes down in flames. We all may be familiar with Albert Wesker, but there was also another evil mastermind in the family, his sister, Alex Wesker. After Albert's death, Alex followed in his footsteps to not only avenge him, but to surpass him. However, her plan backfired as her own fear got in the way and made her mutate into a hideous form that she covered with robes out of shame. Her new mission was to take over Natalia no matter the cost, which sends her into a transformative rage as she morphs into an insanely creepy, backwards crawling nightmare. The elongated spine always freaks me out, but Barry's one-liners still crack me up. You can't have her, she went her. Alex eventually meets the same fate as her brother in the form of a missile flying from a chopper, but in another ending, she does transfer her consciousness to Natalia successfully. Hmm. Derek Simmons goes full Animorphs on us in Leon's RE6 campaign after being injected by, surprise surprise, another genetically modified virus. He hops from mutant forms that look like dogs, horses, giraffes, and dinosaurs, while also morphing back into his human form to be sure to give Leon a chance to throw some hands. <laughs> By the end of the very long fight, Derek has mutated into his largest form yet as a giant bug that's consuming nearby zombies in the process. With a trusty RPG in hand, one final blast sends Derek off the edge of a helipad and down to his death where he is impaled, but interestingly, he dies in his human form. Those are our picks, but let us know which other enemies from the Resident Evil series have scarred you for life. Do you want to see other roundups of transformations from protagonists or side characters? Then let us know in the comments. In the meantime, we've got you covered on all things Resident Evil on our channel, from the latest news on Village and even a full explainer on the timeline itself. Thanks for watching, and of course, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.